Hi everyone and welcome back. In one of my previous videos I'd shown you how to power devices using an Arduino Nano and um, we powered an LED with a resistor if you remember rightly. But that's fine, you can power, you can power LEDs but what if you want to power something a bit more substantial that takes more current? Now with the Nano and a lot of other Arduinos they can only power up to 40 milliamps and that's per pin and the whole Arduino also has another limit I don't know exactly how much that is but it's enough to say one pin can supply 40 milliamps maximum that's not a great deal now the other thing to remember as well is that you can only power things off the Arduino which are 5 volts or less. Now, in the case of the LED, the LED was 3 volts. Let me just find it. Yeah, the LED here, this is about 3 volts. And that's fine. 5 volts, we can go lower than that, but we can't go higher. So what would happen if you wanted to power something that consumed more than 40 milliamps and or more than 5 volts? Well, I very, very briefly touched on it in the last video, or one of the last videos. You could use either a transistor or a relay. And in this video, I'm going to go through one of those methods, and that's this. This is the transistor method. So using a transistor, we can basically um, use this as a switch. And we can switch on something that's a higher voltage and that takes more current. So, I'll bring the spec sheet up for this, and you'll be able to see it. Okay, so, so I'll do that now. Okay, so hopefully you've just had a good look at the spec sheet. Now I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using in this video. So to start with, to get rid of the LED, right. So we've got the, Ar I'm going to use the Arduino Nano. This has become one of my favourites now actually. But there's the Nano. I'm going to use this little transistor. And this transistor is, let's see if I can get this to zoom in. Yeah, you should be able to see it. It's C1815. Okay, so we're going to be using that too. We will also be using my trusty multimeter. And we'll be using various little um, breadboard leads. Of course, the breadboard. And um, we have a special guest in this video too. This, um, it's a very good quality, but very dirty fan. This is out of a good quality PSU, but we're going to be using this, and this is the thing which the Arduino is going to power. Now, as you can see here, it's 330 milliamps. 330 milliamps. It's way above uh, what the Arduino can power, and the voltage is 12 volts. That's also way above, but we're going to power this. Right, so I'll put that to the side for now. Okay, so we'll start wiring this up now. Okay, so that's the breadboard. First thing I'll do is plug the nano in. Plug that in there. Second, I'll plug in, let's make sure this is focused. Yep. Second, I'll plug the transistor in. Plug that in there. Now, um, right, now for the transistor, according to the documentation, if I remember rightly, is um, emitter, collector, base. Emitter, collector, base. And we're going to use this transistor as a little switch. So, we want to connect, let's say, the base, which is basically the way we, we control the switch. The base is going to pin D2. 
and we want a connection to ground or emitter in this case. So we've got D2 to base and we've got ground to emitter. So this is how it's looking so far. Okay. Next. Right. We want the emitter to also go to ground to the um, power supply, which is going to supply the power to this. Of course, this is 12 volts, so I'm going to need something to power it, power 12 volts. So that's going to go to the uh, ground of that source. Now, the middle pin, which is the collector, I'm going to put a red lead in there. This is the lead I'm going to leave here for a second. Right, so that's powered up. Uh, sorry, it's not powered up, that's connected up. So it's all connected. Just to recap, the emitter has two ground pins attached to it. The collector has one, um, it's going to be plus 12 volt pin connected to it. And the base has a 5 volt pin connected to it, which is of course the Arduino. So the 5 volt one is connected to D2. And what we're going to do is, we're going to power this, this purple lead here, or the base, we're going to power that with 5 volts. And what should happen is, when the transistor receives 5 volts to its base, it should switch these two on. Okay? It should switch them on, or, well, basically short them together. Okay? So when the base receives 5 volts, these two will be shorted, and therefore we'll uh, close the switch. Okay, so I think now it's time to do some coding. I'll just plug this um, USB lead in. And let's move over to the, um, to the laptop. Okay, so here we are uh, in Arduino Studio or Arduino IDE. And this script or sketch is more or less identical to the one I did a couple of days ago in the other video. So we've got define power 2 instead of LED it's power pin 2 so we've defined pin 2 as power. We've got the state boolean and set it to low. Set up serial say pin mode power which is pin 2 to output then loop state equals whatever state is currently not so if state is low then change it to high if state is high, change it to low, then digital write to pin 2 the value of state. So write high to the pin, loop, write low to the pin, write high to the pin, low, etc. And print to the serial, that's so we can monitor it. And I've got a delay in here of 5 seconds. Now, you'll see why in a second. But I'm just going to upload that now. Oh, I do need to plug it in first, of course. So upload, oh, what's happened here? Okay, it's done uploading, so let's just check that it's working now, serial, yep, it's writing high, low, high, low, every five seconds, right? So that's working. So I'm gonna go back to the camera now and, um, and continue. Right, back to the Arduino. So what should be happening now is that every five seconds the base pin should be provided with five volts and it should therefore short these two together basically. The two pins should be shorted together. And I'm going to test this out. So I'll set my multimeter to ohms and probably, yeah, 200 ohms. Okay. Now, next thing, I need to clip the probes to these two pins. There's one, and here's the other. Uh, 
Okay, now. To explain, right, what should be happening here is the pins should be shorting together every five seconds. And you can see here that I'm reading ohms. So, we're measuring the resistance between the two pins. So every five seconds you can see here what's happening to the reading. It's saying out of range, which is basically over 200 ohms. Then after five seconds it shoots down to 33, uh, 34 ohms. So if I just switch this to the mega ohm scale now. Right, look. Over 20 mega ohms. So it's over 20 mega ohms and then it shoots down to 33 ohms, which is basically like a switch. So every five seconds it switches from over 20 mega ohms of resistance, basically open circuit, to 33 ohms, which is more or less short circuit. So, um, so that's our switch ready. So now what I'm going to do is wire up the fan and attach a DC power supply. So I'll just move this multimeter out of the way now. We've verified that it's working. Right, so, um, that's why, uh, so that one is ground, so I'll wire ground to ground. I'll just turn this power supply on as well, actually. We want, we want 12 volts. Yep, 12 volts. So I've wired ground to ground. I'll put a pin on here. Jumper. And then... Okay. So we want the plus 5 to go through here. Sorry, plus 12 to go through here. And this one through here. Oh. Okay, and every yeah, it needs to be against the wall. So I'll put this in view. Yeah, so here you can see that every five seconds the fan is turning off and then on. And the Arduino is controlling that. So, I'll just turn this down now. Yeah, so, the Arduino is controlling the power to the fan. So, it's basically acting as a switch. Or, well, really, the Arduino is controlling a transistor, which is acting as a switch. So the Arduino is sending 5 volts to the transistor to tell the transistor, basically, to switch on the other two contacts and short them together. And the two pins shorting together is acting as the uh, open or closed part of the switch, um, of the circuit between the fan and the DC power supply. So... That's how you can use the Arduino to power something which is a higher voltage and that consumes a higher current. And there we go. So I'll just show you one more time. Let's turn this up. We've got five seconds of on time and five seconds of off time. quite a breeze coming from there as well. So yeah, you can do a lot of interesting things. So there we go, so that's how to power things from the Arduino, uh, which take more than 5 volts and more than 40 milliamps. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, um, 
and you're not subscribed, then please don't forget to click subscribe. If you're already subscribed, then thank you for being subscribed, and um, I look forward to any comments you might have. Thank you for watching. Bye.